Can you achieve amateur satellite communication with a station that costs under $100 and weighs about a kilogram? You'll find out later. In a previous video, I mentioned how you could use two handhelds to achieve satellite communication. That was through the new AO91 amateur satellite that was launched back in November. I didn't actually do that though. Yep, I used a cheap handheld as a transmitter, but did the receiving on my FT817. Today though, I'll try communication with the two handhelds. One on receive and one on transmit. VK4 EM, VK3 Yankee Echo. VK3 Yankee Echo, VK3 Yankee Echo. Yeah, Roger, Roger Merv, um, Roger Merv, just using two handhelds, two handhelds only, you're five and eight, five and eight, over. Roger, Roger, you're five and eight, you're five and nine, there's a little bit of noise coming up there, that's clear. 73, the game, thank you for the contact today, over. Yeah, cheers Merv, 73. Roger, Roger, Peter, 73. The experiment worked. $100 worth of transceivers in a bag with the whole thing weighing about a kilogram was enough to make contacts through amateur satellites. There are limitations and that's where some better antennas can come in. Watch the next video for a bit more about an antenna that's suitable for improved satellite communication.